All right, uh, finished up our no shoulder pads. We had two good days of enthusiasm. We put a lot in. Younger guys head and start to spin. But as I just told them, it's their responsibility to keep up. You got a lot of older guys out here. If they want to play, they got to keep up. We're not going to slow down. Tomorrow we put shoulder pads on and uh, change the tempo a little bit, not much. They, we won't have much contact. We've got to work into the weekend. We'll have a planned scrimmage. And I don't know what time it's going to be. We've got graduation. We've got guys that has got uh, things to do on Saturday. But it was a good day. We've got to uh, uh, get a lot better shape in terms of uh, being able to go for two hours. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, the quarterbacks are throwing awfully well. They're not tired yet. They'll start getting tired at the end of the week. We're getting uh, good repetitions out of our guys that are banged up, been banged up. I watched them today quite a bit. It looks like that uh, they're moving around well. Uh, things we'll have to just wait and see how, how far they go and and, uh, and when we start getting physical, how much they can do, whether they're blocking or running with the football. Uh, Secondary-wise, uh, got a lot of numbers now, and we've got a lot of guys that's got to get a lot of reps. So we're going to throw a lot at them and see see which ones can uh, pick enough up to play this year and which ones will redshirt. But looks like we're in pretty good shape in terms of numbers in most areas. Uh, but uh, tomorrow will be a little bit different day. And again, we've uh, we've got to keep putting things in and see what happens uh, when we start executing and have a have a little uh, popping with shoulder pads. Questions? Is there any plan for the players that are wearing the uh, red non-contact jerseys to uh, remove those and eventually start popping people? Nah, no, they they won't hit anybody the first game. Wouldn't it's kind of like we did in the spring. Uh, you know, they they'll wrap up, but they won't have any head contact. And players know not to block them if they're on defense or you know. If, their receivers, uh, you know, to like, kind of lay off of them. You know, those guys are just just a step away from ending their career. You know, when you've had concussions, so we keep an eye on them. And, uh, you know, we won't have any contact with them. I know there's not much you can do about it, but it's a factor until fatigue maybe a little bit out there. With you saying the quarterbacks were looking good, but it's everyone else. Yeah, yeah, everybody's everybody's going to start getting tired, but that's what it's about. You know, there's really not even two days anymore, so it's a lot easier than it used to be, but. You know, when you only go one time, it takes a little bit longer to get in shape, get used to it. And uh, we go in the middle of the, probably the hottest part of the day. And, uh, you know, when you come out at 4 o'clock, it's, it's pretty tough. But, you know, that's, that's part of it. It's part of being mentally tough and having to think when you're tired and thirsty. But we've got enough numbers this year to where most everybody gets a pretty good break. And now we'll start getting people beat up a little bit and the lines will get shorter. But, uh, you know, that's one thing that, uh, you know, we can't control. Has Seth taken control of this team from a leadership standpoint? Oh, yeah, Seth's done a great job. Uh, he did a great job last year. He was just trying to learn, too. But I, I thought going into spring practice, uh, you know, he's the type of quarterback that you want to step up and say words and huddle to the defense, uh, to the kicking game. And, you know, he's he's uh, he's really grown up in a year's time, you know, being the, now that's his second time to be able to play and, and take over as a team. Has his arm strength improved since last year? Yeah, yeah, I think it has. You know, this offense, you know, it doesn't require a lot of arm strength in most – most situations, uh, you know, he's worked on his quick release, getting the ball off quicker. You know, the screens, uh, throwing the option routes to the tight ends and the inside receivers. I thought, I think the release has gotten better than, better than his arm strength. With uh, the bad luck that you've had with guys on scooters, uh, are you okay with them having scooters, or do you consider well, banning those? Well, we hadn't had a whole lot of problems. Uh, we, we'll, we, we talk to him all the time about it, but you know, it's just. Part of it, everybody in the country's got them. Seems like we're the only ones, you know, having scooter problems. But uh, uh, I would think that the ones that are that are on them, uh, hopefully, would use common sense. And if you're 320 pounds, you don't get on a scooter; you get in a car. <laughs> you know, be we'll like take, be like Aaron riding a, riding a scooter. No <laughs> no. We'll take one more guy. Uh, what are your thoughts on the, uh, the rule changes to the kicking? Talk about them. Yeah, just what are your thoughts on the rule changes to the kicking game? Well, I kind of like moving, moving the, moving it up to the five yards on the kickoff. I was on the rules committee when we moved it back, and everybody was for having more kickoff returns. And now that concussions have become a bigger problem, uh, and injuries on kickoff coverage and return, this is probably the right thing to do. Uh, you know, the moving the ball out to the 25 is going to be a little bit different, but not, not all that different. I think you'll have more touchbacks. But helmet coming off is what concerns me. I, I still don't understand that because you can illegally get your helmet knocked off and the official doesn't see it. You know, you're penalized and have to come out of the game for, and you're going to have a lot of that 